All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Episode three. And again, we have no idea what could happen in this episode. This is Ark Survival of Ball. We could DC. We could lose everything. The server could crash. There could be a rollback. We have no idea. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We're in for a treat. So I took a quick trip out here with the Raptor because he's much faster and I did see at least one metal node. I saw one turned around and I'm taking the Yankee out to hurry up and get that metal because everyone is looking for it. So it's really hard to actually find the metal spawn. So we're going to collect some metal here before someone else finds it. All right. So we're coming up on that metal. I do see a Raptor over there. And, oh, he's going to come out. That's all right. Yankees are tough. He can take them off. Boom. See you later. Don't get hit by that hammer. All right. Oh, is it dead already? Oh, wow. There wasn't much metal in that at all. What do we get? 32. Okay. I definitely hope there's more metal around here. There should be about three or four metal nodes as long as they're all spawned. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing some more here. Oh, two of them. Nice. All right. So we're getting a nice little haul here. Actually, we're not getting a huge amount, but we're getting some nice chunks of metal. This one definitely had more than the other one. 70 in that one. Let's oh, another one there. All right. So we're getting... Uh, nice chunk of meta. This is awesome. No one found it. No one knew they were spawned. We're getting lucky. It's a nice day on the arc already. All right. So these are the worst dinos in arc as a player, especially if you're on foot. If you're on a dino, it's not bad. You can just destroy them. But if you're on foot, these things absolutely suck. So I'm talking about the Trudon when it gets dark out or early, early morning here. They come out, their eyes glow yellow, one bite and you're out cold. Now I got to sit here and wait for them to kill me. And it's going to take a long time because they miss me most of the time and then they bite me once and it just keeps me sleeping but you can see i'm not taking any damage it's just taking forever for them to take me out and my stars are going down there they just bit me again and now i'm just gonna stay unconscious forever and i have so much health so this is sucks i could literally sit here for an hour and not be able to do anything oh no here he comes get into the house get in the house get in the house this is bad, this is bad. he's coming i escaped but then they were running at me you saw his glowy eyes that was a close call now I'm safe inside my house. It's pretty darn dark here, so I better turn on my side little torches. Where are they at? I don't know where I am. What the heck? Oh, there. I was lost for a second. I'm like, what's going on? My base is, like, different. Why? But it's not. All right, turn that. Turn off the torch. There we go. We got light in here. So we got Trudons outside the base here. That's okay. My dinos are right here. I could just blow a hole in the wall here. Go out there, take out my little raptor, and eat them all up. All right, so awesome. Everything just froze. I'm trying to get into my refining forge, and there we go. We DC'd. So hopefully I didn't lose all that metal and everything else that's going on here. So we're going to try to get back in the server. DC number one in episode three has already happened. It's only been like 20 minutes. And we're back. There is a rollback here, and I'm in front of a piece of metal with the Anki. So here we're at 280 now. So I think this is the last one. I did find about five metal nodes, but... Yeah, we had a rollback, so that kind of sucks. So actually, nope, we're not on the last one. We went through there. There's one more down here. Let's see. Look at that. It's sliding down like a snail or something. But let's see if that one last one here is still spawned up here. It should be. I believe I went down the hill a little bit, and our fifth and final node was down here somewhere. Let's just continue trucking down in slow-mo mode. I'm just going to get rid of this stone because we don't want that. We want metal. There it is. Yeah, it's over there to the left. So... Awesome. At least we got our metal still, but we did see a rollback, and now I know that there's also Trudons over there. They could be gone now, but hopefully... Sorry, we didn't get much out of that one. So, 360 metal toys. That's not bad. Get out of here, Tom. What are you doing? You're trying to mess with the hammer. Why are you messing with the hammer? I have no idea. There's something wrong with that little guy for some reason. The tail, which just smashed him dead, is twice the size of that entire dino. Why was he biting me? I have no idea. Anyway, continuing on here, let's just get going here and hopefully no more rollbacks but yeah we're already, we started off good now it's already starting to look kind of bad okay so this is kind of where we're setting up a little base and i was going over the water here here you can see we have they have a wi-fi water system i don't know how you transmit water over wi-fi but that's what's going on there's no pipes here so this and we're primitive but we're very well advanced at the same time, which is kind of weird. Anyway, see there's no pipes, there's water and everything coming out of that. And the intake, my Pteranodon was moving for a second, is right here at the water. So this is about the maximum range 
I don't know what the exact number is. I'm guessing about 12 to 14 foundations. You can also put a reservoir, I believe, every max amount uh, because that becomes a new water source. The water there from the intake will fill it. They can keep extending it beyond that. So that's how you would have to extend it. So that's going to be very difficult, I think, when scorched earth emerges. Maybe they're going to have your own wells anywhere on the map or something. They're going to have to do something. Because if you're familiar, there's very small water sources, not very many around on Scorched Earth. It's a very hot map. You definitely need water there and a lot of it all the time. So it's going to be interesting how they do this when Scorched Earth comes. Because you can't run any pipes anymore across the map or anything. So this is the new system and so on. Anyway, here we are at this base spot. It's by Greenob. We can see right there. Uh, we kind of pillaring stuff off here. We got another little mini one over here. There's pillars around here. I'd also like to, I know there's probably too much room for just one tribe or one person or one whatever to kind of have, but I want to go like from there all the way. I want all this stuff pillared off. I want to claim all this land all throughout around Greenop because over here we could set up massive dino pens and stuff over here, massive crafting pens, you know, all sorts of stuff. You know, I'd like all this land to pretty much become ours. You can see we have pillars already kind of set up all over the place here. They're not tight enough together, so someone could squeeze in there and kind of wreck some plans there. But you know, I'd like to have all this land pillared off and then it just gives so many options for a massive mega base moving forward. But we're kind of starting over here now, right by the water and stuff, and kind of get situated close to all of this area. So I see a Rex down here. I got him lined up. That stupid bug is kind of bugging me though. But we should have a Rex here. So I'm level 110. I'm gonna try to knock it out maybe and see what could happen. But oh, I gotta get rid of this bug. I hate these things. They're so annoying. Go away. Go away, you stupid bug. I got a spear, yeah. I'm just gonna spear it. Where is he? Bug. Come on. I think the hitboxes are a little bit glitched here as well. It's a lot harder to hit stuff, it seems. Yes, so I don't hear it. Leave my Pteranodon alone. What's wrong with you? All right, he's going up to Pteranodon. So maybe we're just going to quick fight. He finds this Rex. He's roaring at me like crazy. He's mad. Oh, these bugs. They're so annoying. Come on, bug. Wow, that didn't, I was like right on him. Okay, well. Where is he? He's right by me somewhere. Oh, he poisoned me. Okay, he's after me now, so if I can just find him. Oh, now we got the little ants. Did he leave? Where'd he go? I don't hear him anymore. Maybe he left. All right, so back to this rack. You got to try to knock that thing out. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Yeah, the bug. The bug's coming back. <laughs> All right, we'll just slowly take out this rack. He looks stuck, so that's good. Headshots are the best. If it's still a thing, it used to be a thing, and it only works on certain animals. But I believe Rex is used to how it's have it, so I'll continue trying to do that if I see it. There you go, headshot. Yep. Not sure how many shots he's gonna need. I have 100 arrows. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, just kill it. Oh, okay, that hurt me. Stay right there, buddy. Yeah, stay right there. Yeah, keep looking at me. Yeah, that's a nice Rex. That's a nice Rex. See, use your area for your surroundings. You don't gotta make a trap. As long as you got mountains or cliffs beside you and a flyer, you're good. Is he running away already? No, he's not. He's trying to chomp at me. Right in the eyeball. Where'd he go? hanging out there. Arrow's hanging out of his head. Oh, he's starting to run away. Oh, that one missed. Fail. Now what's going to be awesome here is I get him down and then there'll be a server rollback and then he'll disappear. Why is he going so slow? Oh, no. Is it lagging? Oh, yeah, maybe not. Alright, I think he should drop soon. I I'm not high enough level yet to make a saddle, so hopefully we get one out of the drop. Or he can just follow us everything up either but nothing should attack him when he's down other than possible a giga because they're kind of higher up on the food chain you know it's a rex rex is our og Ooh. 
There you go. We can make it. It's getting light out. Nice sun's coming out or something. Let's see if things are a lot better. Alright, come on, take this Rex out. Oh no, he went after that freaking theory now. I don't want to knock him out. That theory will kill him when he gets knocked out. Oh great, so hopefully he eats that theory pretty quick and I'll just slowly keep putting arrows into him every once in a while to keep that torpor in. But yeah, that definitely sucks. He's getting a little bloody, so I hope he wins this battle. Alright, so the Rex is down. We have succeeded here. Now hopefully nothing decides to gobble him up. We'll just have a quick peek here. Level 110 male so we still have no females it would be nice to have a female that way we can start collecting them eggs for taming kibble that way we can tame pretty much anything other than the highest golden egg type of stuff special eggs like the UD and stuff but this they do give you know the majority of the eggs that we need to tame pretty much anything on the island but here we are, it is down. Now I gotta collect a bunch of prime meat, get some narcotics and all the good stuff together. Okay, so Rex tame complete. Oh, looks like somebody tried attacking me and my little pet here said, that's enough of that, I'm not having it. So he's a nice little defensive mechanism until we at least get a saddle. So I wasn't planning on taming a Rex today, but we did get one tame, so that's awesome. Nice little boost today. Now we did have a server rollback in the middle of it but it wasn't any major issue going back i only lost like maybe five minutes so that's okay here so we have this at base now i gotta try to find someone to make me a saddle because right now we are currently not high enough to do that we are definitely going to be getting a lot more meat with this guy around all right guys so i guess that is going to wrap up this episode episode three went okay started great had some downfalls as usual with official servers but then we ended up getting a rex we didn't really do anything when it came to the new base but that's okay we'll do that maybe in episode four tomorrow we'll see what happens but right now Things are looking good, but we definitely got to saddle this thing up and go get us some meat.